today we worked with the area model to solve some multiplication problems. In your homework it says, write a multiplication number sentence that represents the amount of shaded space in the picture below. Add to the picture or create a new drawing to represent the number sentence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use different colors to show what I have to do. So first things first, I want to ex color my horizontal lines red. So one, two, three, four. So I already know that I have one, two, three, four. So this hole was broken into fourths first. And how many, and then, well, if I switch my color, say yellow, I have one, two, three, so then thirds. So I could write my tick marks, so one third, two thirds, just like we've been practicing writing those tick marks, one fourth, two fourths three-fourths, and then we know this is one, and over here, this is one, and right here is zero. So if I colored this, and so I'm going to color it yellow, sort of yellow first, so yellow, I have one third shaded. Then if I take my red and I go over the fourth, I have this one shaded. So one fourth and then two fourths. So, I'm looking for, if I take my orange, actually I'm going to take my eraser. I had two shaded in, one times two is two, so my two shaded in, and then how many? If I go back through and I look at those lines, how many total do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And th we know 3 times 4 is 12. Does our picture match what we found out? Yeah, it does. So, you need to do the bottom one on your own. I should be seeing different colors while you're doing this. Extend the lines like I did. Use the tick marks like I did. And you should be okay. Now, let's take a look at the practice. Practice. So, we are adding and subtracting mixed numbers. So this is something you guys are sort of struggling with as well. So, I'm, go I'm going to give you two. I'm going to do three, and I'm going to do four. So, if I'm looking at number three, my first question always is, first, with adding, I can add those mixed numbers together. So, I'm going, one plus two is three. So, first step, I'm highlighting in blue. First step. I can add those together, is 3. Next, I look at my fractions. First question, do they have the same denominator? No. I have a 2 and an 8, so now I have to list the factors. 2, 4, 6, 8. I'm going to stop right there because I know my factors of 8, 8, 16, 
my lowest common multiple is 8. Do I have to do anything to 2 eighths that I just highlighted in yellow? No, that can stay. The only thing I have to do is multiply 1 half by, and I want you to look down where I was doing my work. I'm going to show you a trick. If I'm not very good at my multiplication tables, I can always, if I've listed, listed the multiples, I can go like this. One, two, three, four. I then know I need to multiply one and two by four because anything I do to the numerator or the, de the denominator, I must do to the numerator, and anything I do to the numerator, I must do the to, to the denominator. So, I'm going to multiply it by 4. So I'm just going to write that up over here. So we know, and I'm going to draw an arrow down here so you can see what I'm doing. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 2 eighths equals 4 plus 2 is 6 eighths. Now you can reduce that down, but this is, I'm looking for 3 and 6 eighths. Now, let's take a look at number 4. This is another thing that we struggle with. 6 minus 3 and 1 third. My first question is, we, for subtraction, you always start with the fractions. I don't have a fraction. What am I going to do? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to take my 6 and I'm going to turn it into a 5. And then I'm going to have a fraction 3 over 3 because that is one whole. And I'm able to subtract 1 third from 3 over 3. And I'm going to read my, write my problem. So now, my first step is to subtract the whole numbers. 5 minus 3 is 2. And then 3 minus 1 is 2, and I carry over my denominator. You need to do 5 and 6 on your own, and I'm going to check it for correction, correctness.